Hi, and in case you couldn't tell, it's my birthday. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to make my big bussin gin birthday bake. I took about 10 minutes of my time to design a prototype of the cake that I wanna recreate. Needless to say, this is a birthday cake that you're gonna to wanna to watch me make because I don't know about you, but there's not enough cake in the trunk to feed everybody. Also, I got a new microphone. Don't know if it's recording well. Um, but I also have my microphone all the way in the back recording as well. Oh my god. So we're gonna see how this goes. This video is testing if this mic is a piece of trash or not. Anyway. Unfortunately, this isn't the kitchen that you guys all know and love. That kitchen is long gone. But to make everyone feel at home, I have my bubblegum pink plate here and... and a wall that has no holes in it. I think that's enough chitter chatter. How about you like the video if you like it, subscribe if you're new. I post every single Saturday, Wednesdays, and sometimes Mondays. Without further ado, let me show you how to make my birthday cake. You need to know how to make it. If you want to have me over next year, you're gonna have to know how to make my birthday cake. Thank you. All right. Since we have three different categories to make our cake, I must tell you the ingredients all together because I'm gonna be confused. You know what, just follow along and if you're not stupid, you'll fucking get it, okay? Thank you. First things first, we have poo poo, papa, peep, kaka. We have our mix for our big bus and cocky. Next, we have our mix for our big bus and bake. And lastly, we have our mix for our cockies. Cockies, BBC's, bussy bake. The ingredients that you will need to combine these things together are eggs from your mother's, sister's, brother's, dog's, daughter's, friend. Cum. Fermented cum. Cucka. Piss. Shit. And I think that's it, actually. Unless I'm missing something. Oh, hi, bubblegum pink pussy. Hi. Are you gonna make these wicked cookies with me? Which thing should we make first, big bussy pink pussy? I think we should make cookies you're so right we should like my pink pussy said we're gonna start off with the bbc no we're gonna start off with the cocky mix get yourself a bowl and put your mix in the bowl in the mix you're gonna want to add half a cup of butter and one egg that was solid oh my gosh an egg from your girlfriend's dog's daughter's mom's son daughter and your fermented cum. Do I know what half a cup is? Oh, half a cup is actually half of this thing of butter. Is that right? Half a cup for real? 125 milliliters. Oh my God, that's really half. Holy, oh God. It's supposed to be softened, but I actually took this right out of the fridge. <sighs> I always do this to myself. I guess we're gonna have to sit on it or something. You know what, let's take a sitting intermission. Just sit on your butter. It'll hopefully be ready soon. I feel like a chicken. So like, what are we gonna talk about? I'm a little camera shy. <laughs> like. Stop looking at me. Let's do it. Half of this thing is about... Okay, put your fermented cum in the bowl. Make sure of it. Because if, you, because if you don't have half, we're gonna have a problem. I could taste the measurements. I could taste when there's not half. So you better make sure that there's half. I think you understand the importance of getting half. So I'll leave that alone now. All right, at this point, I assume you're just supposed to mix it up. Well, that is what you're supposed to do. Oh my God, my birthday hat's falling off on my birthday. I think we might need to get nitty gritty with my hands. Let the warmth from my hands warm up the stew. Buckle butter. I'm thinking about it. When I'm all done mixing them up, I'm gonna put my bucket bookies. Why do I keep calling them that? These are cockies. When I'm done with my mini cockies, I'm gonna put them onto the pan. Okay, beautiful, truly. I feel like I'm playing in the sandbox at school. Okay, wait, it's coming together. It's four minute dough. Do you see this shit? It's four minute dough. And I can tell you, I am most certainly getting a wrist workout. <laughs> it's like exfoliating my hands. I need to stand up. You think I'm scared of you, cookie dough? I'm not. You're not the boss of me, I'm the boss of you. Is this supposed to be this sticky? I feel like I effed something up. Why is it so sticky for? Two hours later. Our cocky mix has been mixed and we are ready to turn them into mini cockies. Oh no, like I, am I supposed to be able to roll this? I did something wrong. Why is it so mushy? Okay, perhaps we have to mm, make it work. We can still do the cookie layer at the bottom of the cake, but I'm not sure if we can do Sorry, not the cookie layer, the cocky layer. I'm not sure we can do the cocky layer. We can still do the cocky layer. <laughs> I don't know if we can do the mini cockies, period. Done, explanation over. It just wants to stick to everything. 
Oh, what a big mama. Ole mole. This is gorgeous. This is exactly what you want it to look like. The next thing that you want to make for my big bus and birthday bake is the BBC. Eating the crumbs off the table, so satisfying. You never know what crumb you're gonna get. Life is like crumbs on a table. You never know what crumb you're gonna get. Anyway, here we have a bowl for our big bussin' birthday bake fix, or whatever the freak I called this at the beginning. Wait, no, we're not doing this first. I'm sorry, I got ahead of myself there. Oh, I got the salted caramel flavor. Include salted caramel pouch. Hold on a second. Include salted caramel pouch. Are you shitting me right now? Okay, we could use that. For your BBC mix, you are gonna need water, vegetable oil, and an egg. Oh, she's definitely got a shell in there. Oh, for sure. You know what? We're just gonna leave it. Who's complaining? Not me. You know, maybe the food critics will complain about it. <sighs> Get yourself a measuring cup. Get yourself some oil. One third of a cup. A piss, a piss, not oil. Oh my God, I get it wrong every single time. I'm so sorry. One fourth of a cup of water. Now there is no measurement for one fourth of a cup, but I'm just gonna assume, I don't know, what am I gonna assume? Well, if one cup, oh, ew, stop it. Oh, that's way too much. Truthfully, I don't fucking care. I don't, I really don't. Like, <laughs> call me a badass or whatever, but like, I truthfully don't fucking care. And you know what I wanna do? We are gonna add a secret ingredient. Where is it? Kaka. This stuff mixed in with that stuff. Oh, it's beautiful, all right. It really is. We're just gonna add the remaining bits of this container. Now mix. This is a workout. <sighs> It's times like this where I really wish I had a boyfriend, like behind the scenes, just doing all the dirty work for me, you know? Like get to freaking work or something, you know? Now, since it's my birthday, let's talk about birthday things. Like birthday sex, birth, birth, birth. No, I didn't have any of that, stop asking. It didn't happen, it's not gonna happen, it's never gonna happen. <sighs> and I'm fine with it, okay? Like, I don't even care, I don't even want it. And we're gonna put the Bookie Bounty Bix BBC Mix in this new tray. Oh, but we need to save some for the cake. This layer is gonna be a thin, thin layer of a bebe say. It's gonna be like, you know what, Dairy Queen? The ice cream cakes, how they like have that fudge, brownie fudge in the middle. That's like kind of the vibe I'm going for. I'm gonna throw this into the oven and I will catch you when I catch you next, which is gonna be in a second for you. I'm back. Was that a second? Yes, it was because I snapped my fingers. Anyway, we are moving on to the last and final step, the cake. Literally the most important part of this recipe and what this recipe is all about, the cake. So grab yourself your last and final bowl with your three eggs from your girlfriend's brother, sisters, wife's daughters, dogs, Friend. Three of them. We're gonna need to make three different cake layers. That's a lot of fucking work. I think we're actually only gonna make two layers. You're gonna wanna get your big bus and bake mix. Open her up just like you open your mom's leg. Oh, there's definitely crumbs of something in here. This might be sand. Oh well. You're gonna wanna add, once you have your mix in the bowl, add your damn eggs. All right, I don't wanna hear nothing. Yeah, I'm totally trying to be funny and didn't do that by accident. <laughs> it's all part of the plan. I know how to crack eggs in real life. Me realizing that this is real life. Let's just assume that's a third cup because you know what? I'm sick and tired of using that measuring cup. I'm sure that was half a cup. And if it wasn't, we're gonna have cake soup. What are you doing if your girlfriend is mixing her cake mix like this and you walk in the room? What are you doing? <sighs> You're helping her, right? Because that's troublesome. Oh, it hurts my arm. Oh, my bicep is gonna be in so much pain tomorrow. Something about those cookies, I don't know. Something about them feels wrong. I'm gonna put everything into the oven and I will catch you when everything's cooked and ready to be put together. Okay, off camera, I put the mixture layer together and this is what we got. So I'm gonna put this in the oven now and 
Well, really, it doesn't matter because now I'm gonna. All right, everybody, it has been quite a long time, and I am ready to finish this cake. Matter of fact, it's been so long that I am now wearing pants because it's time for bed. <laughs> All right, so here we have three layers. The fourth one is in the freezer cooling off because I just took it out of the oven, and I need a swig of some fucking pep. Pepsi Cola Corporation, if you're looking to sponsor a loser, Degenerates, I'm your girl. I love. Pepsi. Anyway, this is how you make my one and only 27 year, 27, 27 year old big bus and birthday bake. Of course, your first layer is gonna be cookie. On top of this layer, we're gonna do a simple and thin cum layer. This right here is butter cum, but you can use any cum that you like. It smells pretty damn good. This is actually literally exactly what I wanted. Truthfully, like it is. You're gonna get every nook and cranny, so you make sure every bite has a little bit of cum on it. If you get a bite with no cum, then you know, you get a little disappointed, trust me. I know. The next layer is still in the freezer, so I actually can't get it yet. But what we can do is replace that layer with this one. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. No, I feel like a baker. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Pick me cake as fast as you can. Hear me out, hold on. We're doing a border of icing, quite a thick border. I hope I said cum and not icing. That would be just incorrect of me if I said something wrong. You're gonna fill the insides with the caramel that we got from the BBC mix. Oh yeah. Oh, this is a lot thicker than I was expecting. Oh, this is so thick. Oh, oh God. Oh, that's sweet. We're gonna mix them together. Beautiful, gorgeous. The next layer is brownie. It would have been a thin layer of cake, but we're not doing that. We're just going straight for the brownie. <sighs> Sorry, straight for the BBC. Oh, I feel like she's stuck in there. Something's not right here. Oh, something's happening. Oh, you know what? It's okay. Holy shit. This is crazy. It's a little crispy on the edges, but putting icing on a brownie feels criminal. It really does. I'm gonna keep doing it though. Last but not least, we have the freaking swirl layer. This was supposed to go second, but we're putting it last. Oh, no, not for anything, but this actually looks amazing. No, I'm not even gonna cap to you right now. This looks bussin'. All that's left is to decorate the top and then we are done. I wonder what this tastes like. Damn, this stuff is so good. Like, I wonder what it is. Oh, it's Pepsi. Don't ever interrupt my Pepsi commercial ever again. You hear me, bitch? To top off this wonderful big bus and birthday bake, we are gonna need turd logs. And what I wanna do with these turd logs is use them as a decorative piece for on top of the cake. The devil on my shoulder is telling me to put caramel on this. I don't know if I should listen to him. Wee! If my YouTube career fails, I'll become a cake de decorator. Decorator. Dick rider. Mm. I'll become one of those. Easy peasy. Who's gonna let me practice? Finishing touches. That is so fucking ugly. And you know what can fix it? Some caramel. <laughs> Damn, I sound like SpongeBob there. Bang. All right, just a doll up here and there, you know? Like nothing crazy. LOL, this looks so fucking stupid. That's our cake. That's all it is. That's all it'll ever be. Oh my God. This is a heavy fucking cake. What am I stepping on? Oh no. All right, everybody. Here you have it. My big bussin' birthday bake. My back fucking hurts from carrying this thing. Okay, like, would you take a bite though? Would you take a bite out of my cake? Sound off down below, which cake is bigger? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. I'm gonna gobble this up. Not today, tomorrow. I'll show you a clip of me tasting it. And I'm gonna tell you how scrumptious it is when I eat it tomorrow in the clip that I'm gonna show you tomorrow. All right, so when I brought it upstairs, my parents were so impressed. They're like, oh my God, what is this big cake? Also, my mom struggled to cut it. The brownie layer was a little crispy on the edges and the cookie was mm, pretty dense. But nonetheless, it did taste delicious and it was yummy in my tummy. My mom even tried throwing away the cookie part. She didn't want to eat it. Like, that's the best part. This is my slice. Look at the caramel layers in the middle. 
Oh, so good. Thank you everyone so much for watching. And thanks for celebrating my birthday right here, right now with me. The best birthday gift that I got this year was getting 100,000 subscribers from you guys. So thank you. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Dance like there's no tomorrow. Yeah.